Absolutely. Now, it's almost 18 months since the London Olympics, but the drive to build its legacy continues. A competition to get more school children involved in sport was launched today in Birmingham. Nick Clitheroe has been to meet one of the city's rising stars taking part in the school games. This is 14-year-old basketball fanatic Rebecca. Two years ago, she was looking for a new sport to try. So the teachers at Heartlands Academy picked her for the basketball team at the Birmingham School Games, and she hasn't looked back. My ambition is to uh, play in America for uh, college basketball, and then probably I represent Great Britain as well in the Olympics. And I want to do like my own basketball club in Africa. And at Edgebaston this morning, they were launching the latest drive to get schools involved in these games. Set up to build on the legacy of the London Olympics, there's plenty at stake in getting it right. Well, nationwide, more than £100 million has been spent of lottery and government money on the school games in the run-up to 2015. So has it all been worth it? In the citywide competition, we have 95 schools involved, uh, 1,650 competitors, uh, and over 80 volunteers involved in the event delivery. So is that the sort of target you were setting, or is there still more to be done? Um, there's still more to be done, and we want to make sure that we give uh, as wide an opportunity to the Birmingham schools as possible. It's not all about targets, though. After all, sport is supposed to be fun. We've been doing javelin, and we've been doing the long jump. Good, because like, so everyone like, can join in. So if Rebecca's part of that British Olympics basketball team in Tokyo 2020, then just remember where it all began. Nick Clitheroe, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.